Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on, we're gonna go ahead and do page two and three. Page two and three, and it's fairly simple page because uh, both of them, uh, one's a side pocket, one's a bottom pocket, um, but what sort of makes this one interesting um, and a little technical is the fussy cutting. So this is page two. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to install this pocket. So what I started with was a pocket then I glued down this trim and it's going to have this nice edge on it. So it's on top of black cardstock. So it's going to lay on top of it just like this. I think that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get that started. And I just had this here to just kind of demonstrate that. So this came from, oh, where did it come from? I'm not sure. Am I? I think it's the pattern. Let me look at the back of this. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's the flip side of one of the collections. Does that make sense? I should have the rest. Oh, yeah, here it is. So, uh, yeah. No, no, this is from the patterns, I'm sorry. I did use this from the collection pack, which had this on the back, as you can see here. And then this one had a strip that I cut off so that I could use it over here. So this one's from the 12 by 12 backgrounds. 12 by 12 collection is on page, page three. Those little cheat sheets are awesome. Okay, so you're going to need a pocket that is eight and a half by, do eight and a half by three and a half, eight and a half by three and a half, score three sides to make a pocket, and then fussy cut out um, this design element. It's gonna get installed flush to the uh, le uh, left hand corner. So it's gonna be over from that uh, half inch offset here. And you'll see that in just a second. We'll make sure it's right side up. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. And now this is the, um, the background that we're gonna use. And it's gonna go into the pocket like so. I've got a little more paper than I need, but that's all right. That's the right side. This is from the backgrounds. So both these pieces came from the background pack. I need to clean my glue. So that's it for page two. I'm going to do two inserts. So that's a five by seven. And then I'm gonna do six by eight. So that'll look, 
look nice in there. So that's gonna go there. I'll worry about covering my inserts in a few minutes. And then here's page three. So page three um, started out as a 12 by 12 um, from the collection pack. I fussy cut all around the roses. Then I laid it on top of black cardstock, traced it with um, my score tool and then fussy cut around it. So there's a little bit of a black border. This is going to go flush with the right hand corner. everything looks beautiful okay and then this because I've added that black trim it's going to be just enough to allow me to tuck this behind it so that you won't see any of these edges exposed can see there's a nice pocket there so I'm going to do the same thing here so I'm going to put a couple of inserts in this one I might just score in half and make a card so this is eight and a half by 11 so I'm going to score it at five and a half it down to seven and a half. So then this becomes a bifold, which is perfect for five by seven photographs. It's gonna go in this corner. Okay, now let me pull in, that's us go over here now, page two, so you can see how these two sort of play off each other, how this continues over, okay? Again, both these pieces are from the, the backgrounds and this is from the 12 by 12 collection. This was the um, the bottom a trim piece of one of the backgrounds and it just matches this. So I thought that looked good. So what I did um, before trimming this is I laid this one over and lined up the pattern and that's where I trimmed it. Okay, so pretty simple, uh, a lot of fussy cutting, but a very simple page. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I will um, come back and cover these later in the album. We're only on page three, so um, I'll come back and cover these once I've got my other pages set because I don't uh, I don't know where or how I'm going to distribute the rest of the patterns at this point. So, thanks again for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. Be back soon.